Hello, I'm going to contest your books and where to find them. Today, I'm trying to do my own tag. I'm going to call this the Parapetai book tag. For this tag, you need to tag your Parapetai and then you can tag everyone else as well, but you have to tag your Parapetai. Okay, let's get started. Question one is, who is your favourite Shadowhunters Parapetai pair? For me, this is super obvious. It's going to be Will Herondale and Jim Carstairs. I think it's probably going to be a lot of people's favourites, but they have the sass that Jason Alec have. But to me, they seem like they're a lot closer and certain events transpire that just breaks my heart. Um, so yeah, it's definitely going to be them for me. Question two is your two favourite characters in the last book you read. I kind of cheated for this because the last book I read was The Loneliest Girl in the Universe, but there's only really two characters in that. So I've gone for Zenith, which was the book I read before that, and my two favourite characters in that are Andy and Breck. Andy because she's completely kick-ass and Breck because although she's like seven, eight foot giantess, bulletproof, amazing person, she's also kind of cute as well. She like spends the last of their money on like hair dye. I love that. <laughs> Question three. What fictional character is your parapet I most like? My parapet is Steph from Geeky Clean. For me, I've picked Karu from Daughter of Smoke and Bone because she's courageous in her own way. She cares for people. Uh, and put herself for everyone else like Kari does. Plus, I think she'd like really rock the blue hair. Question four is your OTP, your one true pairing. This is actually very really difficult. I had a lot of time. It'll probably change over time what my answer to this is. And I kind of have two answers because I can't pick. But it's either, they're, they're both Shadow Hunter related. It's either going to be Jace. Oh god, there's three. I was like Jason Clary or Alec and Magnus or Emma and Julian. <laughs> from the Dark Artifices. I don't think I can pick. I love Malik, but I don't feel like I'm invested in them. I've been through a lot of stuff with Clace, but I'm really, really, really loving the Julian Emma stuff. And then there's, oh God, then there's Mark, Christina, and oh God, there's so many. How am I actually gonna pick this? And then there's Will and Tessa, then there's Gem and Tessa. Can I just pick like Shadowhunters, the whole universe of Shadowhunters, I OTP all of them. And then in the TV show, you've got Raphael and Izzy as well. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. I'm not sure I can answer this. What have I done? Lucian himself? I'm, I'm getting to the Akatar now. Feyre and Resand. You know what? I'm going to go for Nestor and Cassian. Because that needs to happen. I'm going to go for that for now. Question five is, what two villains do you think would make good Parapetai? I didn't really think about this that well either because, again, I am finding it really hard, difficult to choose. Maybe the King of Highburn from Akatar and then Dorian's dad, the King, from Throne of Glass because they, I get them really confused anyway, so maybe they could be friends and that would make them much happier and less likely to destroy everything we hold dear. I think that's going to be my answer. This was That was not an, as epic an answer as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Question six is recommend your parapetite a book that they haven't read yet. Mine is going to be Clockwork Angel. Steph, you need to read this book and the other two books that come after it. Please. Uh, I don't think she's finished The Mortal Instruments yet, but you're, I think you read a book three, right? So this is a good point to get reading this series. Do it. Question seven is pick two characters from two different books you would like to see team up together. I knew this had to be Selena. I was going to say Aileen, but I prefer Selena, so it has to be Selena and someone, and I was thinking originally Selena and Resound because it would be hilarious, but I also kind of like the idea of Selena and Cassian as well, uh, because they would just spend most of their time fighting. But I think, actually, no, I think I think Resound is sassier, so maybe uh, Selena and Resound for me, would be brilliant. Question eight is, what sequel are you looking forward to that's not out yet? Mine is either going to be the second Strange Streamer book, because I originally thought that was a standalone book. How wrong was I? So now, and that's like the best book I read this year. I think it's been my favorite book this year. So I'm absolutely gagging for that second book. Come on, Lanny Taylor. We need it now, seriously. And I really enjoyed Zenith. So I'm really looking forward to the second book in the Andromeda Saga. Unfortunately, Zenith isn't even officially out till January. So I don't know when we're gonna get the second book. Question nine is, what is your favorite sequel you have read so far? Mine is really easy, it's A Court of Mist and Fury. Uh, I've read the other books as well. and I've read other good sequels, but A Court of Mist and Fury is like the best book in that series as well. So it has to be that one. It was so, so good uh, and completely destroyed me at the same time. These two books, actually, I originally thought they were a duology. Thanks to my parapet eye, 
Thanks, Steph. Um, she said, oh yeah, there's only two books in this series, it'll be fine. Whereas the other one, Throne of Glass, had a lot more in it. So it's like, oh, I'll read them first, get them two out of the way, and then I'll read the others. Not realising that she only meant two books were out of three. Uh, so yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> Question 10 is, what rune would you give your parapetai? If there's not one that already exists you want to give your parapetai, you can create your own rune, but you have to draw it. Here we go. I need to find, actually find a blank page, it might help. This is like the worst journal I've ever brought. I've never used it. What would he look like? Like a thumbs up or a pat on the back, sort of. I can't draw, I especially can't draw hands. Maybe it can be a tick. Oh god, I'm basically just drawing the Nike symbol. How can I make that prettier? I am not good at this. It would be awesome to see though how many new runes we get out of this that are drawn much better than mine. For those of you who've seen me wearing runes at events and stuff, I don't draw them on. They are printed on tattoo paper. So there we go. This is the rune for motivation and self-confidence because Steph, you are amazing and you are awesome and you I think you maybe forget that sometimes. So this rune will make you remember how amazing you are and all the awesome things you can do. Also, it means if you run out of coffee, you can just whack this rune on and it'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> you have to make your own tea, though. I'm really sorry that your rune looks like the Nike tick with little swirls coming off of it. So, there we go. That is the Parapetai book tag. Steph at Giga Clean. Obviously, I tag you. James at Gundam Builder UK. I'm going to tag you. I don't know if this is your sort of thing, but I'm going to tag you anyway, just in case. I'm going to tag some other people as well. I'm going to put them in the description. I just wanted to embarrass those guys because they're new to YouTube, so you need to check them out. I'll put links in the description for their new channels, which you do need to see. Gundam Builder UK is obviously Gundams. Uh, he kind of got me... You can't really see my Gundams from here. They're over there. But I have like a load of bear guys and it's all his fault so you need to check him out. And obviously Geeky Clean, you've seen me unbox all of her stuff before anyway so you know to check that out as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this tag. Except it's my first ever tag so I hope it does fairly well and I'll be really interested to see everything you guys do. So I'll be checking up on the tag so often, seeing what videos have been done. If you do do this tag, please leave a link to your video in the comments below because I really, really would love to check them out. And let's make this open to everyone. It doesn't have to just be a booktuber thing. Any YouTuber can do it. And, you know, if you're an Instagram user or a blogger, absolutely fine. Just link me in the comments so I can check it out. You can do this in any way, shape or form. Uh, but I hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps bring you and your parapetai closer together. Just make sure you don't fall in love with them because then that's when things get awkward. So that's all from me. Until next time. Goodbye.